Welcome back to Nexigo. My name's Nicole, and today I'm gonna show you all the unique features of the N950P webcam and its remote. Let's check it out. Each remote looks a bit different, and while we have designed them to mostly work with one another, it's recommended that you use the primary remote that came with your webcam. Today, we're gonna focus on the N950P and its remote. Power on and off your webcam by using the red power button. You should see a red flashing light when your webcam is off and a blue light when your webcam is on. The mute button will mute the sound on your microphone so that no one else can hear you. If you find that you are too loud or too quiet, you can adjust the volume with the volume plus or minus buttons. The on off camera button will turn off the video recording of your webcam only, but the audio will still be on. The 50, 60 Hertz button will change the webcam from 50 Hertz to 60 Hertz. To use your five times zoom function, press the zoom plus and minus buttons. Use the left, right, up and down arrows to pan your screen. Press the home button to return to the default view. The BLC or black light compensation button can be used for brightening both video or photo when you're in low light environments. Additionally, the brightness plus and minus buttons can be used to manually adjust the brightness. To see if your remote is working correctly, first check the indicator lights. A light on the webcam will flash blue each time you press a button. You may also see an infrared light flashing from the remote through the image on your screen. Another way to test your remote to see if it's working correctly is to test all of the functions of the remote in a test meeting in the Zoom software. If you've performed these tests and are still finding problems with your remote or webcam, Nexigo is happy to replace any defective parts. Simply email us at cs at and Tina will get you sorted right away.